Hello there internet dwellers, welcome back to the channel. Today I thought we could do some Discord submissions slash my own submissions. I haven't done one of these in a while, I've kind of been playing games and I thought it'd be good to return to this. There hasn't been a lot going on though, I'm going to be honest. So what I've got here may be from like a couple of months ago or quite recent, but either way they look very, very interesting. We're going to be starting off with Vibing Leaf. Now believe it or not, they have done a video on Agario, Agar.io, if you remember that game with the circle and then you got to be the biggest circle basically by eating other circles. A, a, a horror video on this. This was submitted by Blaze the Lunar Oni, so thank you, I appreciate that. The description says this, found this when searching for a practice mode in Agario. Honestly, I don't understand the purpose and I didn't even get to practice. Didn't even get to practice, that's how how terrible this is. I'm really, really curious on how you could potentially make a horror video out of Agario, but we're going to find out. They've, they've done it on Stranger Things, like, well, I guess Plants vs. Zombies is kind of easy to do. No, they, they did it on the Wii, Nintendo Wii one, but that was already a creepypasta. You know what? It doesn't matter. Anything can be turned creepy if you try hard enough, okay? And that is what we're going to learn today. Even me, this beautiful face, even this can turn creepy. Without further ado, guys, I'm going to jump straight into this. So all the creators that I watch will be in the description down below in the order that I watch them. So be sure to go check them out. Maybe watch them alongside me in a muted tab or just check them out in your own time. You know, give these guys some view time, subscribe, like all that good stuff. And we're going to jump straight into the video. So this is called Agario Desire. Here we go. Agar.io. Practice game mode. Desire. Don't ever fill out the other forms. The other forms... Oh, well, the password and stuff. Is that a real thing? You got to do that? Why would you do that? That seems that seems like a silly thing to do. Do you guys remember how... Objective, grow bigger than green. Okay. This game was very addictive. Were there, were there playthroughs of this game? <laughs> like, you can't actually imagine people like, like playing through and doing like a let's play video on games like this. But it is kind of addictive to watch. It's even more addictive to... Ah. Uh, objective grow bigger than red. What? This is, a, this is a shocking player right here. What is happening right now? Okay, this one's just feeding this one. That's an interesting choice. So you, what, you can't swallow that one? Right. No. Okay, you just exploded again. Fantastic. Eat five greens. Okay. Desire it 930. Like, what? Well, I don't understand. But surely those would have swallowed. But then again, this is practice mode, right? So, uh, I don't know. They all need to form together into one. I think I did a, uh, a Let's Play video on this on my Bazamalam channel. Oh my god, this is awful to watch. What is happening? There we go. They are... Okay. You know what this is like? It's like watching one of those freaking mobile gaming ads where they, they do terrible on purpose. And then you're like, you know what, I can do better than that. And then you download the game and it's not even the game that they advertise. So like, what? what is this? So you, you, you shoot in these zombies coming at you and you're picking up power-ups and stuff in the ad, but then you get into it and it's just, it's just awful. It's terrible. Yeah, the person playing this needs more practice. Like, why, why isn't he eating up those greens or... I'm confused. Everything's gone kind of still. Oh god, it's... I could sense it. I could sense a jump scare was inbound. I, I could just feel it. What is this? Have a nice day. You are now officially good player. What are those things? Are those like birds? Well, that was... I didn't even get better. What is this? 
Now I've got to admit guys, that was probably the strangest video I've watched. Not so much, it's more so like a jump scare, I guess. Like usually with Vibe and Leaf, there's like a story behind it or they're doing an interpretation of something else. I'm not sure if this thing already existed on the internet and this is their take on it. Either way, it was very interesting, that's for sure. So be sure to go subscribe to Vibing Leaf down below. And we're going to move on to the next video. The next video is by Gibson TV and it's called Lethal Company Miniseries Prologue. I believe I did a reaction to the trailer or trailer of Lethal Company, but if it was like more realistic and it was really, really good and it was by Gibson TV. And I think they realized the popularity of that video and decided, hey, I'm going to probably make some more videos on this. So this one was just found by me because I subscribed to Gibson TV. The description reads as follows. This is a story about a crew of four Sigurd, Desmond, Jess, Rich flying through space with the objective of collecting scrap on different moons to deliver to the company. Unfortunately, these moons are infested with unworldly creatures who aren't welcoming to any visitors. Brilliant stuff. All right, here we go then, guys. This one's going to be fantastic. Look at this already. Look, like, it's just, it's phenomenal. Like, that. All right, Desmond, be my eyes. Gibson used to, I believe they used to, like, uh, backroom stuff. The main exit is, uh... Uh -huh. one piece of scrap got it okay boss it's the boss why is the boss out and about shouldn't the stop uh oh what is it there's something watching it to your right what is it what is it is it a little bug one of those freaking hoarding bugs yeah for so you pick that up and it's gonna go insane yeah it's just a bug leave it rich we don't need to cause any more trouble. Just head back to the ship. It's getting late. Woo! <laughs> sure thing. Richard. Sure thing. <laughs> Richard! Oh dear. Every time. He's a part timer though. Makes no sense. Why would he say every time? <laughs> Ooh. I hope Richard made out okay. Oh, so they're like on Titan. Oh my god. Okay, wow. Oh, hey Jess. That's not oh, Jess. And Jess, we should try to wrap up soon. It's getting late. God damn it. Yeah, no crap. Is never accurate. So that was, I'm guessing that was. Get in now. Something is following you. Wait, Jess is still out there. Richard, Jess is in the ship right here. What? Ugh. Move, mate. Ah. Oh my god. Yeah, no shit. Did he just A Gibson TV production? Is this the Nexpo song? This is the Nexpo intro song. Is it Nexpo or Nick Crowley? I think it's Nexpo. It's Nexpo. Oh my god. Yeah, this could make a fantastic mini series. Yeah, for sure. I'm going to be ke keeping my eye on this one. Maybe I should have done it for a separate video. But still, I, I, I like to introduce these things to people. I mean, I'm guessing a few of you probably already know this one exists. Because the, the other one, I, I don't know how many views the other one's on now. Let me have a look. Three million views. So yeah, probably a few of you are aware of this series happening. But hey, it's here now. So you guys can keep eyes on to see when the next one releases. We'll be sure to watch it. Oh! when it comes out so yeah there we go guys subscribe to gibson tv leave a like all that good stuff let's move on to the next video so this one was from a month ago it's called the backrooms entity extraction now this was recommended to me on my discord but it was so long ago now that i go back and i can't find it because it was over a month ago but this is return to render and return to render do like usually they do like meme videos on the backrooms like uh you know slides and you know but uh, mystery buttons and stuff like that or so, yeah basically just meme stuff like water slides but this one looks a little bit more serious maybe they've taken it a little bit more serious the thing is they meme it a lot but like the quality of the meme is like beyond shit posting it actually has quality behind it like in the future shit posting is just going to be cinematic but yeah this is called the backrooms entity extraction found footage and the description says this entity removal in the back rooms can be dangerous just make sure you have a forklift license and a co-worker to record thanks for watching There we go. Oh, are they in that little supermarket thing? Oh, okay. This might be from um, one of their previous videos. 
because I remember watching a video where they was in a supermarket and I think it was Return to Rendu who done that. Nice. There we go. I wouldn't drive that fast in the back rooms. I don't know. So I, I would keep it very, very slow because you it's so unpredictable what happens in the back rooms. Um, anything can happen. Like that. Literally anything can happen. And they just get out so casually like, oh, okay. Hey, They're probably... Uh, I, I think we've got a problem over here. Yeah, no crap. Oh my god, what is that thing? Wait, a forklift ain't that fast, is it? Well, I guess it can be. I don't know. I've never, dri never driven one before. Get in. What, you're just going to leave that guy and not tell him what was happening? Oh my god. You've got a hammer. Hey, could you pass me that hammer? for a thing I'm doing over there. Come on! Why did you bring this here? Yeah, what an idiot. He tried throwing a hammer at it. You know what would make that even more hilarious? Is that if, if he was shooting the nail gun, but he was just hitting the guy instead. He's like, oh! <laughs> Imagine he throws the hammer, it hits the guy in the head. He's like, oh, what the hell are you doing? He picks up the nail gun and starts shooting him in the torso. Stop! Well, there we go. That was more of a kind of semi-serious one by uh, Return to Render there. Be sure to like, guys, subscribe, all that good stuff. So the next one we're going to be reacting to is a channel called Dr. Nowhere. This was recommended to me on my Discord by Jun. And they said, this whole channel had me shitting a little bit. Not going to lie, wear the brown pants for this one. Okay, I'm not wearing any pants. Okay, it's all good. I'll just crap in my chair. It's fine. I'll fill it up, warm myself. It's all good. Brother, ugh. I'm not sure what to make of this. It's like, I've been getting recommended this quite a bit on my Discord, I think. People telling me to react to it. And it's by a guy called Silas Orion. I don't know if this is a channel dedicated to this thing or other, there, there are other things. But we're going to just discover this whole channel here and you guys can go check them out for yourself. I'm going to subscribe already because I know it's going to be really good. The first one is called Starving Help and the description says Trapped. What is this smoke coming out? Is that the smell that's coming off of this thing? You know, what's, you know what's weird about this is that this, this isn't, I don't think this hand belongs to this creature. So there's someone trapped in there. And that's why it says trapped, I'm guessing. Because they're literally trapped in there with this thing, whatever the hell it is. And that's terrifying to think about. Like, what, the, what even is this thing? Well, that's your introduction to whatever the hell this thing is. Apparently, it's called the Thumper or something. This is called, Has This Ever Happened to You? And it's called All the Lights. Has this ever happened to you? It's getting dark outside. You are getting ready for bed. Yeah. Grabbing a cold glass of water. Uh -huh. And now you are turning off all the lights in the house. Yep. Yeah. Do you feel that? Or What's maybe that? hear that? That sinking feeling that something is following you as soon as you turn off the light. Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. You gotta run up the stairs after turning off the, the, the light, right? Because the monster's running after you immediately. So you have to turn off that light. And the thing is, the thing what I do is like, I'll turn off the light and I'll kind of purposefully look inside the room to, to almost freak myself out. Like I'll look back and I'll, I'll get this sense that something's watching me in the corner. Then I think the moment I turn my back, it's gonna start running at me. It's, uh, I don't I like it. Well, worry not. Okay. We have a brilliant solution. Ooh. Yeah, okay. I believe you. There is nothing that follows you after you turn off all the lights in the house. All the lights in the house. Turn off all the lights in the house. That follows you after you turn off all the lights in the house. Okay, I believe you. Thank you. Right, brilliant. So now that that's in our brain, we can relax. The next one is called Love Thumper, and it's like the same monster. I don't know if that previous video was about the same kind of monster. This one has a date: thirteen three two thousand five. Okay, so these were recorded in like Hello. 2005. 
What do you want? Yeah, so this is uh, automatically confirmed that the hand at the beginning didn't belong to this creature. What do you want? What? Please Where? go away. What? Okay, hang Please on. Go away. Where? What is this? The perspective from where? Where is this person? Because this looks like a window, and this looks like a, like a cell almost. Go away. Go. Is that them no knocking on the glass? What is that? Is that the? Is that coming from like the screen? Ew. Let's go back and just have a look at that. Oh, it moves. Look at that thing. It was like climbing out the TV. I'm very confused though. Where's where is it coming from? Was that from like a TV or what? What where was that coming from? Oh my goodness. Uh oh, please don't, don't. It's gonna do something. Like I hate. Oh God, I don't like it. Oh, he's pushing the door. It's pushing the door open. And oh, the body appeared untouched. What is this? What is this in reference to? Like this is glass, obviously. And this is like a room, but this room looks weird. I don't know how to explain it. Like, there'd be more depth to this room. And if this window was there, you'd see more into the room itself. It's like, unless the room was just a triangle like this. And this is like here. But like, what kind of... What is this? I don't know. It says the body appears untouched, but those walls certainly have been touched with the ass of this creature. That has like sprayed like a cat. Right, there was a laughing track there. That was that was terrifying. Okay, so this last one is called Making Friends. And the description says it's a kid in there. So it'll be interesting to see if this is like a... I'm guessing this is going to be a series and it's going to probably explain a little bit more. And it's one of those things where the videos at the start will make sense as the series continues. Kind of like Greylock or any other kind of good analog horror. This isn't really analog horror though. This is more like digital horror, animated horror, I guess. Time to rise and shine. Good children are up bright and early. I don't understand bright and early because if you're getting up early, it's not going to be bright outside usually, is it? It's going to be slightly dark. Unless they mean bright as in like your, bright, like your mind is bright and you're up early. Which I don't know. I can't trust anybody who wakes up without coffee or whatever and is just excited and just ready to you know what you've probably found your life purpose at that point and you're excited to get up and you know what good for you i'm just jealous that's what it is i need to find my purpose and you guys have found it okay i'm happy for you i am <laughs> i'm only slightly joking there guys good children play pretend oh well what was that freaking adventures of gumball so that that's the wallpaper if you notice that was the same wallpaper as before good children do not play with their food until it is all gone oh okay so there was like a little scratchy thing there hang on what is that it's so weird like it, I'm, I'm confused as to what this kind of not the the thing itself but just like where is it contained is that in a monitor is that a computer screen or is that an actual okay Good children make friends. What the? What was that? A heartbeat in the room. Okay, connect in seconds, pals for life. Okay, so this is some kind of chat room almost. Uh, Dominic, Ellie Wings, Bowers, Carter, Pen Palace. Carter and Dominic are online. Miss their faces. Use our new vid chat feature. For governmental personnel viewing only. Sorry, what, what, a government ran by children? Yo, man, what's up? It's been like forever. Okay. 
<laughs> Seriously thought you were dead or something. Looks, we've been online friends for a while now. Yes. Best friends. Oh, I have the feeling, I have a feeling that it's, it's inside this chat room, right? And it was a computer monitor. Yeah. Hey, look, I know it's none of my business, but it feels like you've been acting really distant lately. You've been going through something? If so, I'm here and you can talk to me, man. Okay. <laughs> like I said, it's none of my beeswax and you don't have to say nothing. But do you need something? Face call, please. Video call? It's like almost 1am where I am, man. Whack time zones, remember? So are these children talking right now? We'll see. Please, now. Seriously, are you good? Like I said, I'm here if you want to talk. He wants to talk video via video call. I know you started that new school recently and it was whack. Okay, yes, talk face. Hey, no, seriously, I can't. Really sorry, but tomorrow, okay? Please, let me, friend. <laughs> Plez. Seriously, are you alright, Dom? Up, uh, bro. Please, please, please. Name's Dom. Okay, Dominic9999. Go on. Just connect a video. You don't have to show your face. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, oh, okay, okay. Not cool, man. What the heck? Okay, okay. Please just be as quiet as possible. Like, whisper. Yes. My mum's a light sleeper, remember? Starving. Help. Please. Starving? Nah, though I swear if this is a weird heckin' prank, hated those. They were never fun. Those gosh darn heckin' pranks, man. Incoming video chat request. Is it gonna be freaking? None of it makes any sense. Everything inside was gone. Right. So, okay. So from what I've gathered of this, it's almost in reverse order. This thing, this 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 program, this chat thing, is like there's something trapped inside there. And by the looks of it, maybe it was like a character that was drawn maybe by one of these kids. And it kind of gained sentience, like gained consciousness of what it actually was and wanted to get out. And the only way out was through the person that it was talking to. Once the video call started, maybe there was no way to end that. And that's why, so that video call started. And then you see in the previous video, maybe you couldn't stop it. And like he wanted to go to bed or whatever. And this thing was thumping on the, the monitor. Then it got out, dragged him into the place which this bit doesn't really make sense because the glass has already been smashed. But then at the very start, you see someone inside. Maybe it's this person inside. Maybe, or maybe, uh, I don't know. There could be a, there's a few things that this could be. Like one could be the person behind this monitor, not the creature, but the person who's maybe in charge of keeping this thing on or whatever is happening is feeding other people to, uh, I don't know. It makes no sense. It's almost like a muse. It's interesting. I can't quite wrap my head around it. But you guys should definitely go. There's, I don't think there's anything else. There's no like website. There's no other like secret links. So someone made a very interesting point here. Look, a lot of some messages were formatted with incorrect punctuation like this. I just noticed that the title is also formatted like that. This could mean that the monster is the one making these videos. The title making friends combined with the opening section about being a good kid also shows that the monster is trying to understand or connect with people and given the text messages has had some success. The thumper's lack of communication skills and the sheer desperation is trying to convey through said rudimentary speech strangely makes me feel pity for it. So yeah, this thing's trapped in there. And it, it's trying to communicate with whatever it is, but it's also starving. Does that mean it needs to eat the people that it's talking with? I don't know. There's, there's a lot going on here. Because in this one here, the body appeared untouched. So the body was found. There's a lot going on here, guys, that, that's probably going to need some kind of uh, insider mind 
kind of intelligence on for sure but hey if you guys have a theory or an idea of what's actually happening here let me know keep an eye on this channel guys and if you see any anything new anything that stands out let me know in the comment section down below or you know put it on my discord you know submit it to my discord i'll be really interested to see where this series goes or if that's the end i don't think that's the end i think it's just getting started but it's very very interesting that's for sure it's dr nowhere go subscribe like the videos all that good stuff show your support with that though guys that is where i'm going to end this video today i hope you guys did enjoy if you did why not leave a like rating subscribe all that good stuff thank you guys for watching i hope you did enjoy and i'll see you guys in the next video take care guys